Good morning, Year 6. I hope you are safe and well and that you had a great day yesterday and enjoyed all the activities that I set for you and that you wrote your Lenten promises and your letter to God and that you enjoyed your decimal work. That was the last lesson of decimals. I'll explain a bit more when I talk about maths. And what about your English looking at reported and direct speech? Today we're going to be looking more at reported speech. So, first of all, happy World Book Day. So, we've got a bit of a treat for you today, which <laughs> is fantastic. Um, if you go onto the home, well, you're on the Homeschool Learning page, but if you look at the Homeschool Learning page, there is a link to a video with all of us teachers in there, but not as you know us. We are um, disguised slightly, and we have got a bit of a competition here for you to guess which teacher is reading, um, and it's pretty difficult from the disguise that we've made. I hope you have lots of fun and we will reveal the answers on Monday. All right, so have a look and see whether you can recognise all of the teachers and teaching assistants um, and maybe head teacher and deputy head teacher as well. So have a look at all of those and see if you can come up with who is reading what. So that's our celebration for World Book Day as well as carrying on with our activities from our Book of the Week Tuesday. So, for maths today, so like I said, yesterday was um, a fantastic lesson. We looked at short division to um, convert fractions to decimals, okay? So we were looking at dividing the numerator by the denominator. And that was a really great way of converting to decimals, wasn't it? Today, we finished decimals, okay? So we are going to do an end of topic test. OK, just to go back over all of the skills that you've learned during um, our decimal um, topic. So when we are looking at obviously our fractions to, to decimals, multiplying decimals, dividing decimals, OK, all of the skills that you have learned. And it's a great way of recapping all of those. So have a go at that end of topic test. So it's all of those skills that you will be able to have a go at. I know that you'll do absolutely brilliantly because you've been enjoyed doing this work so much and you've done so well at it. Well done. So, English. So, we are carrying on with looking at reported speech in um, from the book Tuesday today. And what you are going to do today is plan a police incident report and write a police incident report of what happened on Tuesday. It's so excited. So we're going to be using that reported speech. Can remember, we learned about that yesterday. So go back to the work that you did yesterday and have a look at reported speech. Can you remember, third person, he, she, they, and in past tense as well. Remember that. And it's a more formal language, okay? Now, what I have got is an example for you, okay? So I have put an example on the slideshow. And on there, it's got your reason for investigation, recount of interview with James Nilbar, recount of interview with Esther Smith, now, you can make up your own interviews with the people that you, we've said because we already started writing the questions, didn't we? So you can use those people that you have chosen. And then we've got our conclusion. So you've got to summarise it all, OK? And um, the recommendations for further investigation. All right, so there's a lovely example there for you to follow. You're going to follow that format for yours, but you're going to write it your own, okay? You can magpie bits like we always do, but you're going to write your own with reported speech. Think about the questions that you'd want to ask. What are the things that you've noticed, all right? Fantastic. And then... So there's the template, okay? You're going to plan that on that template. You decide who you are interviewing, okay? So I've just put here recount of interview with and you'd say who with, 
all right? And then um, we have got um, the conclusion, exactly the same, but you've got one that's an example and one for you to fill in. And then I'd like you to write that report, please, okay? I know you are going to enjoy it because you're enjoying this work on Tuesday so, so much, so have lots of fun doing it. Just remember those key features of report writing, okay? When you are doing reported speech, when you're using reported speech, third person, past tense and formal language. Remember that punctuation as well, year six. Brilliant. Okay, so that is this morning's lessons. This afternoon, we have got French and we have got science. Oh, wow, these lessons. So we are carrying on in French with Le Weekend, talking about and learning how to talk about things that we do for rec recreational activities, okay? Things that we do for fun at the weekend, what we like to do when we're not in school. So um, have a look at the lesson. It's lesson two. Click on Language Angels, go to the website, and um, Le Weekend lesson two. And... As always, you choose the level of questions that you want to do, but also have a go at some of those games. They are so much fun. I enjoy playing them so much. Okay, so that is your French. Now, science. Oh, this is a brilliant, brilliant lesson. And um, we'll carry on a little bit with it next week when you're in school. But you're going to learn about the Swedish scientist called Carl Linnaeus, okay? And what he did, he created a system um, for classifying living things. And part of that was giving living species a Latin name, okay, and putting them into different categories. We've already started speaking about that. So what your task is today, I want you to read through the lesson presentation. Wait for this, you're going to love it, you're going to love it. Um, and you are going to create a new living thing. <laughs> a new living animal and you are going to give it a Latin name. There's a slide on the lesson presentation to help you know how to create um, a Latin name um, and then I want it to have a common name. So the Latin name are often very difficult to say but then you will have its common name. Yeah, can you remember that we looked at um, the foxglove and all of those different, um, that was on a previous um, lesson presentation. So you usually have something with a difficult Latin name and then it's called its common Common name, so what we better know it as, so that it's easier for us to know. And then um, a label diagram, please, and a description of your new living thing. It can be an animal or it can be a plant, it can be anything. Use your amazing imaginations. Okay, so that is a great day of learning for you. So you've got your end of topic test on decimals. Okay, so it'd be great to see how you get on with that. You have got your report writing for a police incident from Tuesday night. You have got your creating a new living thing. Can't wait to see those. Um, and the weekend in French. And just remember, have a look at the Masked Reader, which is on the uh, our site, and you guess which teacher is reading what. It's going to be so much fun. I know that you're going to enjoy it, so make sure that you do that. All right then, guys, have a great Thursday. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your learning and take lots of care. All right, lots of love. Bye-bye.